moment we want to believe something, we suddenly see all the arguments for it and become blind to the arguments against it. Good journalism is therefore difficult work and it is even more difficult when reporting on situations of violent conflict. Yet this is when good journalism is most fundamentally important. As journalists and media professionals, you have a particular role to play in deepening public understanding of conflict. As professional communicators, you are uniquely positioned to reach viewers, readers and listeners around the world. You identify that common thread of humanity that makes us empathise with a woman fleeing from atrocities in Darfur, a young soldier on his way to an uncertain future in Iraq or Afghanistan, or a Palestinian child sitting in the rubble of his school. And beyond empathy, you encourage, and indeed shame us, into action on behalf of our fellow citizens. The issue of equality for women, the underrepresentation of women in politics, the significance of having a gender analysis in decision making, in informing political decisions, isn't sensational. It's not controversial. Media personnel would probably argue that it's not the type of issue that sells papers or attracts viewers or listeners. Not in the context of a society emerging from a 30-year conflict with three and a half thousand deaths. We are journalists, we should uh, personalize our article, our story. But on the other side, we should uh, think about those people, how we will impact uh, those people with our article, with our writing. And in this conference, I took uh, some skills, some experience from others, uh, from uh, different journalists from uh, distant con uh, conflict countries. So that's why I think it was so useful for me. We've also fallen into this habit of using the language of government. I'll start off by using the word terror, 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 which has become symphony orchestra, full stop, punctuation mark, prime time, everywhere. I never use this word except in very thick quotation marks because it is absolutely meaningless. It has gone beyond being generic. That's how governments ruled after 9-11. Actually, I find the event and the conference that gathered all the participants from many countries and. Uh, particularly from the countries of CIS, very important and uh, necessary because it uh, brings uh, two sides together. The experts, media experts from Thompson Foundation, uh, very experienced ones, and the journalists uh, from, from these countries. And they are able to exchange their views, they are able to exchange their opinions and uh, to, uh, to tell about uh, the situations and the problems in their countries and it helps very much actually to know each other uh, better and to interact in this in this way 